Hi guys, so in this video we'll be checking out this new stamp and die set that uh, Die Impress has brought to HSN it is the Swan Lake stamp and die set. So they did send this set free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase I'm still those links. You might see a little shopping bag here in the bottom corner that helps you see those also. Um, but the full list of what Diamond Press has brought to HSN will be in the description box. Okay, guys? Let's open this guy up and check this out. I know it's a really sweet set. I love this doily die. We love doily dies, so I'm happy to have that in here. Super cute. Big mom. You can see that. I got this mom. And it has lots of swans. Really easy to color in when you have swans like this because obviously they're going to be white for the most part. So they're easy to just add a little shading and you're good to go. But let's see the um, inspo sheet and we'll talk a little bit more about what we have in here. So we have some swans. I love that there's one facing left and one other facing right. You have like a little baby one or a smaller one. You have this beautiful like rose. Those are all stamp and dies. Um, here it looks like most of these have a stamp and a die also, so some sprigs, a little lily pad, smaller flowers, or roses, posies, you know, more sprigs, things like that. And on the back they're showing the doily, the word mom, you have little cattails, lily pads, um, these are all stamps. Super cute, thank you, you help me, you know, oh, you help my dreams take flight, happy Mother's Day, birds of a feather. Um, Thanks, Mom. Wherever I lead, wherever you lead, I will follow. There you go. And then they have some um, inspo down here. So you know, it could just be a thank you. It can be more Mother's Day related. Um, very cute. Oh, I love this. That's adorable. <gasps> cute. Um, okay. It comes with your adhesive sheets, some sticky sheets that you guys can try out. So they have this really fine dot adhesive that has little gray dots that stick to the back of your die cut so you can put it onto your project and some info about that and the applicator um, helps you apply it to the back of your die cuts the marquee cutting folder that again goes in the marquee but if you don't have a marquee you can definitely run these through any machine that cuts thin metal dies um, the dies themselves let me give you a size on that doily because I am in love with this doily. It's almost three and three quarters, a little shy of three and three quarters. The word mom, the metal to metal is just over four inches um, by one, eh, one and a half inches the other direction. Our swans, the bigger guys, if you can get you eh, about two and a half, I would say, inches. And then the other uh, dies go from there. And then we have these gorgeous ones. So again, birds of feather, I mean, those are a nice size. Thanks, comma, mom. Happy Mother's Day. You gave me the roots to grow and the wings to fly. Really nice. Super cute. So I am going to think about what I would like to do. I'm going to grab some, you know, card base, some papers, inks, all that kind of fun stuff, and I'll be right back. I really want to use the doily. I have some watercolor paper here that, um, Diamond Press has put out. So what I'm thinking about is stamping that, maybe doing some cattails in the background, like a little background, and then focusing on one of the swans or something. And then we'll go from there. So I don't know yet, you know, what I'm thinking as far as sentiment or anything, but I want to run this through. Now you can do your stamping first and then run it through. I'm gonna run it through first so I can see exactly where I'm running <laughs> this through. And like I said, it always comes with a refill, but I'm just using a uh, folder that I've used in the past. And let me think how I want to do the stamping. We might do a little bit of inking, a little pulling out the color, that kind of thing. More artsy. Ooh, this is really in there, <laughs> as you can see. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Again, this is textured paper, so it really like got in there. Um, okay, what I want to do is think about how I want to do the cattails. So like down in here somewhere. You know, and then maybe add a little blue. So cattails are generally brown, and then you know the greenery is green <laughs> on them. So I think what we can do is use markers again. We have some that are like this. This one's facing kind of more that direction. You have a straight one in here also. A little pie. Maybe something like that, and then just here, because if we have our swan in here, that's fine. All right. And then they have a single one which is really cute. Let me grab some markers, and they're probably going to be the airbrush markers, to be honest, because um, I like the way they work, and 
I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we'll just do a little stamping, kind of freehand. If you want to use a precision press, you can definitely do that. Again, I've been enjoying these markers, so I'm going to do that. Um, let's see. I will use the refill set because it does have brown. It has a darker green and even light blue for the water if we want. Of course, you can use watercolors, but brown and green. So this guy, I'll pick this guy up. Green. Just go on these things here. Just color it green. A little bit of brown up here. This guy. And if it's something that takes a while to color and just go, just kind of breathe on it. But uh, I'm going to put it off to the side so that way it looks a little more organic. It's going off the edge into where we have our die cut. cut. And then same thing with this guy. Just our greenery. Which I think this color is kind of a bluish green, if I recall now. It is called emerald, but it does have a lot of blue in it. Color in the little cattail parts. A little huff. And again, just kind of stamping that here. Really nice. Okay. Um, let's put this guy back and this guy back. And maybe we'll pull in. Let's use the light and the dark blue because I may all do light blue on the top, dark blue towards the bottom. Just have a water brush. And what you can do with the water brush, all we're doing is getting the water going and you're going to pull the color from your stamped areas here. And I'm just pulling in the color from there. Like literally have to do anything. I don't, if you want to go over the green, you can, but I'm just kind of pulling it in from here. And kind of like when you're a little kid and you have those things where it had areas that you can pick up. Do you guys remember those little coloring books? Watercolor books? And it would just have squares of a color and you would get it with a Q-tip and then bring it into your um, image. So it's kind of something like that where like the color's just there waiting for you to play with it. So just pull that in. A little brown. Over here too. Just constitute that. Reconstitute it. So really easy. Soft. Pretty. And with the dark blue, I can probably take this right to the paper because it is watercolor paper, but I'm going to put, put it right here to the side, get that going, and just add a little of this as if it were water in here. And the reason I'm getting the light blue also is just so I have water, but then also, you know, um, see how it's getting in with the stems. I think that's pretty. Um, like sky. Right, so just something in here, a little bit of water, and then I'll take the light blue, get that going, add a little water, and bring that guy in from the top. And just fill in as much as I would like. Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry, and we'll do our card base, and we'll get our swans going and all that. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a card base. This is just a standard A2 size card base. So four and a quarter by five and a half. So that means if you're making your own eight and a half by five and a half score to four and a quarter. I just have a little piece of blue cardstock. This would be lovely to run through, get some embossing on it. You know, something pretty. Just if you're going to just leave it like that, I think then just having a plain color. But we're going to stamp thank you on this. And then on the inside, I think we'll put my world is more beautiful because of you. So. Uh, this is four and eighths by five and three eighths, but to just make it a little more special, I'm just going to cut the corners here. So I have this stub design. I'll just cut those guys right quick. This thing is full of a lot of little papers I got to get out of there. So just on all four, just to make it a little more special, a little different, I'm going to glue that down. Of course, you can use any of your, you know, A2 size dies. Um, you know what? This is going to want to pop open. So let's just get it stamped before I glue it on. I was going to glue it on and then just hold it down like I do with paper, but I think if I have this, and we can imagine this little guy will be like here with our swan or however, so like down in here. Uh, thank you, you know, to my beautiful mother. I mean, those all work. They're lovely. Um, I'm going to put thank you here. 
And I'm looking at the way it's written. I'm looking at the A and K, like the A-N area, and then the U, and the T, and you know, K are kind of higher and the Y is lower, so that's kind of how I look at it as far as centering things or making them straight, if you will. And then again, I'll look at this and see if that's pretty much on level, you know, where I think it might be. That's looking good. Just stamp that with some black ink. Why not? Looks good. I'm going to do it one more time make it really bold. These are water-based inks if you're looking at the Diamond Press inks. And you guys, I've really enjoyed having them here stacked up again in um, Roy G. Biv, you know, uh, Rainbow Order. And then just grabbing the ones I need. And then I have, you know, fun ways of mixing the colors or matching and mixing and matching since they have quads of colors in each one. So just, you know, follow up on having been using them for a while now since they launched. Um, let's see, what was I thinking? So we have that. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm also going to stamp the inside of the card. So let's go ahead and remove this one. I'll place this this way. Hopefully I don't have ink on my hands. I have been getting ink on my hands <laughs> recently quite a bit and transferring it to my projects, which is a bummer, but that's okay. All right, so we have that. You know, my world is more beautiful because of you. So we have that. I'll just stamp that also in black ink. Again, I eyeball things, but, you know, if you want to use a T-square or really do the math and <laughs> figure out if you have it nice and straight. Um, that looks pretty straight to me. So, good to go. And, again, I'm just going to use Midnight Ink. Sorry if that sounds a little clacky clacky there. <laughs> yep, and then one more time again to make it a little more bold. You can definitely color in where it says beautiful. Uh, you can do that with alcohol ink markers if you're using these water-based inks, but if you want to use water, it's going to start spreading, just like I showed you when I did the cattails, right? It'll start kind of leaching out, so you do not want to come in with water afterwards or water-based markers, but there you go. Ready. Let me clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to glue this guy down. And then I'm just going to glue down the um, doily also. And then I'll probably pop up our little swan. So, just do that. And the doily, I think I'm going to glue it down in a way that's still kind of has movement. Because you see how it's kind of like curved here? I mean, I can put glue all over, you can run it through your adhesive and then just stick it down and it'll all just stick down. But I think I'm going to leave that loose. We'll see. So just the center. And I did make the water line so it's kind of straight. I had noticed when I stopped it was like down here and I thought, oh, that's going to be weird. So I <laughs> brought it up a little higher. So it's a little bit straighter. And let's pop that like right here. A little bit more this other direction. Okay, I'm going to hold that down for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there's a card. Again, I left this loose, but you know, I just, I always basically put something heavy on top of things when I wanted them just to stick down <laughs> for a while, so it kind of flattened it out, but it's still cute. And that's just free flowing. So let's get our swans. Now, um, I was going to color these alcohol ink markers. But then I thought, do I really have to? I mean, I can stamp them with whatever we want to use. So I think I'll just still use water just so it all looks kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? Water-based markers. So um, I just have a piece of heavyweight cardstock. I'm not going to put a lot of color on it. Um, you can definitely use your watercolor papers if you want your swan to be cut from the watercolor paper too. Uh, but I'm just going to do something a little bit different for this little guy. So let's just put that down. Um, you know, which swan do you want, right? You have the little guy, so cute. You can probably put both of them, too, if you wanted the, you know, bigger one and the little guy on this doily. But I think I'm just going to use one, and let's use the one facing left. And maybe we'll do a lily pad, too. We'll see. We might squeeze it in. Maybe we won't. But here's a little lily pad that we can tuck behind her. So let's do both of these. 
and I'm going to stamp them with hybrid ink so I can go ahead and just use our water-based markers just like I did the background um, now interesting enough I guess I could stamp this in green and pull the color out of it um, it doesn't work as well when you're not using watercolor paper so I'm just gonna go black and then we'll just color it in okay uh, let's go this way and I was thinking about the little beak I guess trumpeter swans have like a black beak and everything but other swans have like an orange yellowish beak so we'll probably do that just to add a little more color today so let me clean up, let that dry, and then we'll uh, finish up with some of our markers. Okay guys, you know, I said I'll use the markers, but let's use the watercolors since we have those and you can see them in action a little more. might help you out, so I'll put that there. Um, let's put this here, and let's just close up. And I'm still going to just use these colors here, not so much the chameleon ones for this, um, since the background is kind of soft and muted, so I'm just going to get that going and grab some of this green come in here let's color this little guy again this is not uh, watercolor paper so it just takes in the color a little differently doesn't really let you play with it as much um, but there's that and then let's get a little bit darker a little more in the very center and that's about that that you're going to get on cardstock that's not watercolor cardstock uh, let's do our little orangey kind of yellow it's okay we can mix these <laughs> little big here and then you know she has a little tiniest little cheek here <laughs> we can go black uh, maybe pink just to make it a little sweet and then you know they're white so like you can come in with like gray I like sometimes using like a very light blue um, with them if you really look at them it's kind of like a downy white where it's a little bit off-white you know it's not I, I think what we, I'm trying to say is we can use like a light light brown and that'll still work or a yellowish brown um, but you know what I'm gonna do let me I need something like that so take a little bit of the brown and maybe a little bit of the yellow make like a little dirty yellow brown <laughs> that I'm just going to bring in under here so I made a little more of a neutral kind of brown yellow I like that that worked out really well and just you know maybe a little bit in here you're just adding a little bit of something so we didn't forget we just know that you know it's like a little white bird and a little more there. Now I don't know a lot about color theory guys <laughs> but I knew that if I got the yellow and added some brown it would like tone it down and that is exactly what I was going for. Look at that. Very good. Okay so I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna cut them out. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, let's get our dyes and I might still do an aperture. Let's see how much we can see through this because I would want this to cut out pretty perfectly. I mean I can see the whole face there and that looks really good. Um, I mean I would Feel very comfortable just go ahead and cutting that myself just like right now so I think that's what I'll do but you can definitely do the aperture trick if you are feeling that you might not be right on and then this guy do we have a die oh it does okay and again you know if you want to do the aperture trick if you're feeling pretty good about it <laughs> just there we go so I'm gonna run this through and I'll be right back let's see how we did by pure eyeballing not bad okay let's see this guy oh, there we go okay and let's bring this sweetie back so we have this here you know we can put a little leaf pad maybe there maybe out a little bit more because we want to see it cute okay so I will glue this one down and I'll put some dimensionals behind our little swan and I will be right back okay guys so here we go little dimensionals on the back of this beautiful little guy and just bring it down here so we can see our little work that we did behind there super cute let me see if I can transfer this just a little bit lower that's cute just push that down like right in here looks very good I'm gonna turn that over sorry guys and give it a squish <laughs> 
So thanks for watching. Thanks for going along with, you know, my changes here and there as I'm working. And just a lot of fun. Really pretty. You can make it artsy. You can make it a little more, you know, um, standard and just die cutting and things like that. But this was just lovely. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.